welcome to another Windows 7 tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at customizing font size and styles so you can uh, set it up to suit different users' needs. So if we take, for example, a Word document just as the default f uh, style or the default font settings within Word, it's actually quite, it's quite small. Obviously you can uh, increase the magnification within the page, but the menus themselves, same here, you can see an example of Adobe Reader, they're quite quite small to see, um, and even the font style might be difficult for some for some pupils to see. So what we're going to do is customize these these fonts and the styles and the sizes so um, it may be you know, better suited for different different learning needs. So to do that, it's just a case of right clicking onto the uh, desktop, or you could go to the Start menu and select the Control Panel. Uh, or here it is up on the left hand side, the control panel home. And we need to select the personalization item. So here's personalization here. Now I should say at this stage that it doesn't carry through on all Windows applications. So like the start menu, it doesn't change the font sizes there. But we will see an example of how it does change it on, on different applications. So first of all we're going into the window colour, choosing the window colour, and then into the advanced uh, appearance settings, the advanced appearance settings, we'll click that, just bring that dialog box in and again clicking the various items you can see they correspondingly change at the bottom and I'm on active window and I'm going to change that font option there down from, from the default option to something such as Comic Sans, so I'm just clicking the C on the keyboard and just going through the various options till I come to Comic Sans. So just repeatedly pressing the C will get you there. So there it is. And that size 9 is quite small to see. I want to bump that up a bit to 16. Uh, or you can choose any size you want. Then once you're happy with the size, I'm not going to change the colour just now. Just keep the sizes as they are. Click on Apply. And let Windows change. And then OK. And then Save Changes. Okay, so you can see on this panel, nothing's changed. The font style has remained the same. But now if I bring up uh, Microsoft Word, so this is Word 2010, you can see there's a considerable difference now. Now, the, the font style hasn't actually changed, but the size is much, much larger. Okay, so you can see that uh, much more years easier to see. So even quite useful for a pupil who has a visual difficulty, it's maybe straining to see what the the, the, the different sort of features on, on Word because there's quite a few in the ribbon so that really magnifies up the ribbon and similarly in uh, Adobe Reader you can see there's um, the fonts on the drop down menus are really quite large now and bold and obviously you can change that to any setting that you want and it also follows through into Microsoft or Internet Explorer on the top and again, if you need more magnification, you can increase the web page by pressing the Control and Plus button um, to increase the magnification. But that, that certainly is a good start to, to maybe to help users. And now you see when I right click onto the um, desktop, these menus, sub menus, have all increased. So to change it back to the, the, the default settings or a settings of your choice, it's just back into the advanced appearance settings into the dialog box, click on the normal option and then go down to the size that will change correspondingly as we change the size on, on the menu. Okay, let's put that back to 9 as it was and I'm going to just choose Arial or something similar to that. A non serif font suits me quite well, suits me quite well so let's just scroll up to find that non serif font Arial OK, then apply, and then OK, and save the changes, and we're back to more or less as it was before. So thanks again for watching this tutorial.